just been working on this uh, juniper here, but <clears throat> I know why you guys are here. It's not because of this. It is because of because of this. So today, in this episode of Bonsai's Forever, we're going to learn how to start a bonsai from a seed. So today in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to start a bonsai from a seed. Um, there's so many ways to start a bonsai, like garden center trees, you can go dig them up, you can buy a bonsai that's already started, that kind of stuff, but seeds are another way to start bonsais. Um, this is a, a little kit that you can get, um, I'm pretty sure you can get these on Amazon. Um, really, really interesting kits. Uh, it's got a couple of different types of trees in it. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing, you get some seed starting uh, cocoa husk. It's a little block, it's not, it's not very big. It should, it should fill the little bags that they send with you. So you get these little um, planter bags. Nice cute little bag, um, probably very inexpensive, uh, you know, so they can make the, the kit a little bit more affordable. So I, I'm not gonna use these. I got something else to show you guys. Really cool though, really cool concept that they sent that with it. Um, it's probably also so that they can put it in a smaller package too. All right, so then you get a, a little booklet. It has <clears throat> instructions on how to plant your seeds or instructions. Destructions, instru instructions. So anyway, it's got instructions on how to, um, what to do with the soil disc and how to plant the seeds. Um, placement of the seeds. I'm not going to worry about that because I'll, I'll show you just in a minute. Um, the fertilizer, that kind of stuff. So it's got like a little starter book, which is super cool. That's awesome that they sent that with it. And then it's got little signs for each kind of tree. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up for us so we can see what's in here. I think it might be easier to read off of these. Um, I have opened this already, so so you guys know. This isn't my first time looking at it. It's first time opening stuff, I guess. But so we've got a royal uh, poinciana, poinciana. So that's why well, you can't see that. Ta-da! I got a new light, guys. It's super, super, super bright. It has a variable brightness to it too, so that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna. Brighten it up a little bit. There we go. All right, the Royal Point Sienna. We got a Rocky Mountain Pine. A little Rocky Mountain Pine. And then we've got a uh, Blue Chick. Jacaranda. That's what it is. Blue Jacaranda. All the, my dyslexia bothers me sometimes. It's not as bad other times, but sometimes it's worse. And then we've got a Norway spruce. So super cool. These are these are going to be some pretty cool uh, trees as well. Um, I I don't think I'm going to put like pictures up on the, the video of what they look like, but y'all can kind of look that up if you'd like to. Um, there's kind of a small picture of each one of them on the seed packet. So that's a Norway spruce. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. Obviously it's not going to look like that for a couple of years, but, and then we've got the cedar or the pine, the Rocky mountain pine. There was no cedar in here. It's a Rocky mountain pine. There we go. And this is the jacaranda. Got really cool flowers on it. I'm really excited about that one. And then the Oh, what was that one? The Pizzacania? Point Poinsinetta. Yeah, not a poinsettia, poinsinetta. Two different things. Because that's what I thought I said at first. All right, so it comes in this little pouch. That's all the seeds. There's four different kinds of seeds in there. So yeah, that's the, the kit. Um, actually, it did come with uh, some scissors. 
like that. If you can see it, I left those with my friend that gave me this to plant for them. So here's what I wanted to show you. This, this guy right here, I'm not sponsored. I'm just showing you something that I've used and I, I kind of like it. So it's got a bunch of holes in it. It's going to be 36 holes. It's six, six by six. So six times six, 36. So there you go. And what I'm going to use in here is some cocoa husk, just like what they sent me. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to use this or the way I'm going to use this. But uh, I've already got some made up. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to use this anyway, though. Just open the package here. And it's going to be like, like a hockey puck. I mean, it's, it's solid. It's dry. All right, so I'm going to take you guys over to the bucket here. All right, I got a bucket and I've got like a, a strainer in here. It just fits over the bucket, just like that. And I'm actually going to take the I'm going to take the other stuff out. I'm going to take the other stuff out because I already started to kind of dry this out. And I'll show you why I'm somewhat concerned about that. I'm not really concerned about it, but a little bit. All right. Give me just one second. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to place this into the strainer here, and then because I'm in the workshop, I have I have a hose ready to go. Uh, if you don't have a hose, just use the, the sink or something, uh, a pitcher of water, something like that. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to bring you over closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. There you go. It's awesome. I can get the camera really close now. With my other tripod, I couldn't do this. All right, so basically, I'm just gonna get it get it wet with the hose. I mean, you can use a lot of water, not a lot of water. I mean, it's just it's gonna be kind of up to you on how you do this. So basically, as you add the water to it, it's going to start to expand. And this is why I had it mixed up already, because this is probably going to take a little while to absorb enough water for this to expand all the way. Okay, I got some light in here. All right, so now I've got I've got water up to the the bottom of this, and now this sitting in the water is going to expand it <clears throat> to where it'll break up and turn into the seed starting. Um, bedding. But I'm going to set this aside and we'll go use the other stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to leave the tray. It comes with a tray. I typically don't keep it in the tray just so that it it evenly dries out as, as I'm keeping it. As I'm regularly watering it, it dries out evenly, basically. I hope that made sense. Because with the tray on there, when you water it, it'll it'll pool, and then you can have too much water in there, and that's not good. We don't want too much water on our seeds, because then the, it'll just rot the seeds, and then obviously we don't get trees from that. So once once it's fully expanded in the um, the colander, I'll push on the colander a little bit and squeeze as much of the water out of it as I can, which also leaves it still moist. I mean, it's still moist enough. Well, it's still got enough water in it to squeeze it out. So if you squeeze it out all the way, it's pretty dry. It's nice and crumbly and dry. Sticks to your hands. That's why I'm using a shovel. I hate this stuff. Sticking to my hands. I don't like things 
like dirt stuck to my hands. If I'm if I'm working with the dirt, I don't mind it, I guess. But like playing in the mud or playing in potting soil, all that kind of stuff, I can get my hands dirty. But when I'm working with something and it's just constantly staying on there, I just it just bothers me. Anyway, so we're gonna put uh, fill all of the compartments up with the cocoa bedding. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing over here. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. This is kind of up in the way. Maybe I'll I'll switch some things around here. I'll move this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. I don't want to make a huge mess all over the bench, so I'll try and keep from doing that. So this this cocoa bedding is the cocoa bedding that I have in my my Amazon uh, wish list. It's two, I think it's two blocks. Basically, it will. I think it'll fill up a five gallon bucket if you use both the blocks. And it's, it's not expensive. I think it, here in the US, I think it's like $9, $8, something like that. And there's a few different um, places you can get it from. So, so yeah, but I do have it on my, my Amazon wish list. Okay, now I'm gonna make it to where they're all to the top here like this. But I'm also going to, push it down. I'm going to pack it down with my little, I've got a smaller scoop here that fits in there nice. It doesn't have to be super tight in there. I'm just packing it in a little bit tighter than just laying it in there. All right. So I left just a little bit of space from the, the surface here so that when we, when we put our seeds in there, I can cover it up and not have to like push the seeds down in there. So I'm gonna go with the Norway spruce on this row. And then the uh, Jacobia I'm gonna put on this row. I don't know how many seeds are in each one. So we're going to do it like that. So I'm putting the, the spruce and the pine at opposite sides because spruce and pine kind of look the same so I want to make sure that I I can tell which one's different obviously I've got the signs but say something happens the signs like fade or get lost or broken or something um, I want to I want to know that one side is the the spruce and one side is the pine all right so we're gonna start with the spruce which is going to be this package here. I'm gonna let you see what the seeds look like as well, because I think that's really fun. Um, try to see if I have something to put the seeds on. This over here. see if I have something to put the seeds on so I got this I got this really cool piece of um, petrified wood I bought this I didn't find it I wish I would have found this but it's polished on both sides so anyway I'm gonna put the seeds on here so we can look at them so it's got a tear spot when you tear in seed packages, always be careful to hang on to it nice and tight because I've had seed packages just like all of a sudden rip open and seeds go everywhere and then I don't have any seeds anymore. All right, so I'm going to dump these out on here. Hopefully they don't roll off. All right. 
That's kind of what I was thinking they would look like. Nope, that's not a seed. Those are the seeds right there. So they look, they look kind of like pine seeds, but just a little bit different because they're a little bit smaller than a lot of the pine seeds that I've seen. So, okay, I'm going to take one per, uh, maybe two. I think I have two per thing. So I'm just gonna put two seeds in each thing. I'm gonna put them a little bit apart but I'm once they start growing, if both of them grow, I'm going to separate them uh, pretty much right away, so that they don't um, intertwine their roots. I am going to let them grow large enough that they can have some roots, though. That's that's the key right there. Um, let them grow long enough that they have roots, but if they do grow too, I'm going to separate them um, before they start like really intertwining together. So I think I can put one seed in the rest of these. Yeah, just one in the rest of them. So the first three have two seeds, the last three have just one seed. So then I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna put the dirt, I was just gonna put dirt in there. I think I'll wait until I get all the seeds put out. A frog is making noise. I got a little uh, tree frog that lives in my greenhouse, or in my workshop, actually. I've got quite a few frogs that live in the greenhouse, but I've got one that lives in, in the workshop here. Makes noise every once in a while. All right, so let's see what these seeds look like. Those are pretty interesting. That's what the Jacobia seeds look like. Kind of a triangular shape. I wonder if they had like a um, pod that they come out of. Cause that one, that one doesn't look like a seed. All right, so I'm gonna take. Um, I think I can do two in each. Each slot here. So these seeds look like they're gonna, all going to be pretty um, simple seeds. So I've noticed that some some kind of seeds you need to plant them in a very specific way. Um, maple seeds I've noticed if you if you plant them um, like facing downwards, it kind of helps them germinate. And you could tell up and down by the, they've got like a little helicopter looking um, tail on them so that they can fall out of the tree and, and twirl down to the ground. But these don't look like they have a direction to them. I think it was just right. Yep, because the rest of that looks like just just compost. All right, so we got those guys going. So now we're going to do the poinsettia. This one doesn't have a tear spot like, like the rest of them, so I'm going to use the scissors. All right, now these ones, I kind of felt them in the package. And I think they're, yep. They are ginormous. We only get four of them. So they look like that. I wonder if the darker color or the lighter color makes any difference. I don't know, but they're huge. They're like the size of my finger. The size of my finger now. All right, so these ones I'm just gonna do in the middle force spots, I think. Just like that. 
Hello. All right, and then let's do the the Rocky Mountain Pine. This is pretty exciting. So something I'm going to do since I've got an extra two extra rows here for seeds. Oh, this one's got a lot of them. Maybe I can do two rows of the pine. I might be able to do that. I think I'm going to. I'm going to try and do two rows of pine. I was going to say, I'm, I've got a couple more seeds of other types of trees. I'm going to do this row another type of tree. So pine seeds, when they come out of the pine cone, they have like a helicopter um, tail on them as well. Let's see if I can pull this out here. Let's see if I can show you kind of what it looks like. It's a little damaged because I messed with it, but let's see if you can see that. Let's see if I can get some more light on here. There we go. So it kind of goes around the seed. And then it's got like a tail that goes on it and you can just pop those off um they don't have to stay on the seeds and that's if you uh, find them from a pine cone none of these had them actually on them that one was just in the bag i'm gonna try to make sure this isn't too deep because these seeds are really small, you don't want um, more than twice the depth of the seed to be under the soil on typical um, any any seeds really, unless unless you have directions that say that they should be um, buried deeper, which I have not found that so far. So if there is something out there, you know, let me know in the comments. As far as I know, everything should be um, less than twice the depth. So we're going to be able to do two per section, or two per uh, hole on both sections here. All right, give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so while I was out in Colorado, I collected some seeds from all over the place. So I'm gonna plant a couple of seeds that I know exactly what they are. Um, I'm gonna plant some of these other ones um, as, wow, those are tiny little seeds. I'm not even sure what those are. I'm not sure what those are. I'll have to plant some of those in a different on a different day so that I can um, know exactly what they are. I'm not sure what those are either. All right, so I got some really giant seed pods. So this is from a, a species of honey locust. I'm really hoping that this is the one with the, the spikes on the trees, but kind of thinking it's not gonna be. I don't think that the tree that I got that these pods from had spikes on them. So they have seeds in the, the pods here. I'm not, well, is that, oh, that's not a seed, that's just the connecting part that connects it to seed pod. Break this open. I'm going to take out each one of these guys. As you can see, it kind of just hangs on there inside. And when I got this, it was fully closed. So now I think it's ready to start germinating because it's it broke itself open. All right, so I'm going to plant one of these in each one of the spots in between the the blue jacaranda and the royal um, pointiana. So I'm, I'm going to try and use just the large seeds. I'm not going to use these smaller seeds. I don't think they're ready. 
so I don't think they'll grow. I have another seed pot here, so. These aren't that hard to open. I'm just trying not to make a huge mess all over the place. Here's my seed number five and seed. Okay, I don't want to make a mess and kick the camera with the compost pin. All right, and number six. Here we go. These ones I'm pretty excited about. I don't think I have any of this um, species of um, honey locust. I have, so here's another type of honey locust. These seeds, this seed was actually about this long, but the seeds are much smaller in here. Open one for you guys to see. So that's, that's one of the seeds from the, the smaller honey locust, much smaller seed compared to, compared to that. So it's just a, a different type of honey locust. I think I have a couple of trees that are this type of seed. I'm gonna be growing some of those. And then I got some that are this size seed pods. So I'm gonna start growing some of those too. I might, I might not do a video on that one because I'm doing this video for you guys. So I'm going to take the, the pod and put that in the compost. All right. So the next step is going to be to top these off. So I'm going to take the soil. I'm going to basically just pile a little bit of the soil on top of each one of the seeds. I'm not going to pack it down really hard. I'm just going to like put it on there. Just make sure it's kind of level. Just make it look nice. So one thing that you can do with the seeds is if you make it 100% level, I mean, well, I say 100% level, if you make it really level above each seed, you can kind of tell when the seeds are starting to poke out of the soil because they'll start you know, moving the soil up. And so you can see when they're about to come out of the soil. It's kind of exciting to see that. Not absolutely necessary, but I think it's just kind of exciting to see when they're going to be coming out of the soil. You just want to make sure that they are all covered up. And I don't want to put too much soil over them so that they don't, um, don't come out of the soil, but they, um, yeah, I don't want to put too much over them, but I think they'll, they'll all come out just fine with the depth that I had them at. But like I said, don't, if you just don't bury them more than twice the depth of the, the thickness of the seed, then they should make it. end pieces don't have seeds at all on this royal uh, I'm gonna take a couple of these seeds pretty sure I'm gonna be able to tell the difference because these guys should be quite different um, actually I was trying to think if I have have one that's leafed out yet I, I don't think I have one that's leafed out yet because they, the sweet, or the honey locust, they have um, um, segmented leaves. 
So they've got like the, the leaf stem and then they've got a bunch of leaves coming out of it. So the royal um, poinsettia, I don't think it, I'm sure that it doesn't because actually, <laughs> actually, oh dear, it does. Right, I just remembered it does. It's gonna be okay. Well, I'll, I'll know, because it'll be one of one of the ends, and there's gonna, there's a bunch of them in here, and there's only one in each of those. So we should still be able to figure this out. Ta-da! All right, so I'm gonna grab another um, sign that I can write on. All right, so I got some signs to do the honey locust. Um, and if I could remember how to spell it. All right, so that's the honey locust. And I'm gonna put on the back side of it, I'm gonna put large seeds or large. So I know that that's the really big seeds. And then that guy goes right here. And then I'm gonna put honey locusts small small we'll put that right just like that ta-da all right so now that we got that figured out all right now so with the soil already being wet, I'm not gonna water these in, okay? So if the soil is dry and you're doing this process, this would be when you would use your um, your spray bottle or a very fine um, watering can if you have one to, to water these in. And then you would just, you know, obviously soak them until water comes out the bottom. But because we're using soil that's already wet, we're not going to do that. And now that I've said that three times, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. All done. Not a huge project. Um, not a not a long video. Just short and sweet. And when these do start sprouting, I will let you guys know by making a video, so you guys can come check it out. Um, so stay tuned and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and I really appreciate the comments too. I like reading the comments. If you have something to say like, you know, you did that wrong or whatever, I mean, leave a comment. I, I really appreciate them. Um, I've gotten some comments uh, where people were telling me that I didn't do something right or, or I should have waited or something like that. And I really appreciate that. I, I have no problem being told that I'm doing something wrong. I do appreciate being polite, though, when you're doing it. So, so yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll see you on the next one.